want to look at this play uh, because I always like looking at, at something that we've seen a lot during the year that's run slightly different at some point in time. And so this is going to be, uh, looks like uh, whatever you call it, got a drift concept. Uh, bang dig is also acceptable. It's essentially a play action concept, solely strictly play action concept that you sell the hard play action and then stick your foot in the ground and you fire the dig. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get these linebackers influenced, pulled up by the play action that creates a whole lot of room behind them. And then you just run behind it. You get inside leverage on the guy here. Got a lot of room in the middle. Called the again, bang dig is, is kind of older terminology. Still could be current terminology. And uh, it's called that because it's basically when you stick your foot in the ground, that's a throw. Hit your foot, bang. That balls out. So bang dig on uh, the Shanahan uh, LaFleur system, typically called drift is what I've heard it. So kind of either way. But what typically happens, what they usually do, it's a two-man concept from either side. And so it's a dig, then a vertical route. And the vertical route, it's never really thrown. You're always looking uh, at this at this dig route here. You're using that as a way to kind of clear that boundary. So you're not, you're not getting any muck over on that side on that crossing thing. Now, the way the Packers dress it up here that I like is instead of this, they use their divide concept, which they used quite a bit, and they usually do it, throw a flat underneath that as well. Now, they've never actually hit this. They started doing this about halfway through the year. Sometimes they'll kind of drift in each other's wake here, and so they'll follow them up. Uh, they don't really do that here. I don't think they've ever hit either of these guys before on this concept. Usually what will happen is this will push back the defenders, and you get a flat route or two flat routes or something underneath, and hit the underneath guy. In this case, you're pairing it with drift, which works naturally because you want a vertical route from the other side anyway. So you're taking something you know, and you're dressing it up a little bit. You're taking drift and you're pairing it with uh, divide. This two-man concept over here divides what I've heard it called. I don't know if that's what the official name or anything. Uh, anyway, so the reason we'll get into, I guess, just drift here for a second. The reason drift works is because, again, it works off of play action. A lot of times you'll kind of pair it with you. Know, the line looks like, you know, line looks like it's blocking. Sometimes you'll get an almost half boot look. So you'll get like kind of a half turn. So it looks like play action boot, then stick your foot and fire. But basically you're, you're hard sell of the run game to influence the linebackers and pull them up. Now, now, I don't know, again, I don't know that I've seen them run divide with drift before this year, uh, before this game. Uh, so that's that's why this is kind of cool. And part of the reason may have been, all right, here we go. Bang. All right. Ball's out. Except the ball's not out because all right, you get inside leverage here. So let's, uh, let's do yellow here. Lazard here. Inside leverage on the defender here, which is good. But this guy didn't bite. And we'll rewind it here in a second. So there's going to be two linebackers. It's Fred Warner, and I think that's Greenlaw takes half a step up see that see that top step and then he's back so that throw is gone that throws away cannot throw that anymore this is something i don't again i don't know if they threw this wrinkle in here because of how the 49ers game plan specific the they see the 49ers linebackers doing that they just they know that's a possibility it's taken away so they pair it with something else so that's out so instead of panicking rogers then moves on to the second thing now what do you have here you've got this Single high safety, drop him back. And with a crossing route, you've got Devontae Adams inside leverage on that guy there. So that's the read. So then Rodgers will throw there. It kind of looks, hops, throws it flat so he can't get to it. A little low. Again, th throws it flat so it's not over the path of the safety. You're, you're breaking it off so it's away from the safety. Throws a little low. Adams goes down and gets it. So again, just something that I, I don't know if it's game plan specific, and we'll watch that linebacker again real quick because he does a really good job of playing it. Yeah, it's Greenlaw right there. So watch how he kind of reads this. He's going to watch, hop step, recognize it's a throw. He immediately backs out and falls under because he knows what they're trying to do. They're trying to throw this dig. He's underneath. There's nowhere to fit that ball. So Rodgers just takes a second with a man in his face, fires on that crosser, reads a secondary concept. Really well done. Uh, nice nice uh, pairing there of those two, two concepts, and, uh, and well done at that time. 